Johnny Valentine here doing a quick roof penetration. First step, cut your roof boot the right size, get it tight in the up position so that it's going to shed water. Second step is apply sealant to the underside of the boot. If you can see all that, there's the sealant. Get your sealant all on the underside of the boot. Then you're going to take the boot and just push it down the way you're wanting it to be. Show you that. You want to see the... I'm using Lexel, but you want to see your sealant squirt out on all sides. That lets you know that it's really filling in there. And uh, and when I do it, I'm also, these boots are, these OD boots are rubberized, so they would probably hold without caulk. When you're using caulk or sealant, then it's just gonna hold all the more. And I did, and then just run your screws in. And I'd also uh, dried the roof off and cleaned it off. And I limit my torque so that the screw is just gonna smash down the gasket, but it's not gonna rip the gasket. It's a little too much torque. Did you hear all that, Doc? Yeah. That makes her squeeze down. Real nice. There it is, just squeezing down real nice. And that, I'm gonna screw all the way around it. That's how you do a metal roof boot. All right, so there it is. All screwed down. And then I'll even give it a, I mean, I'm a nut, so. I'll give it a layer of sealant around it too. I asked a metal roofer one time, how do you patch a hole in a metal roof? I thought he was just gonna, you know, go off. He said, just squirt it. Just squirt it with MP1. Be there as long as the roof. So, metal, screw down metal roofs. They're definitely not perfect. Now, if you lick your finger, the water, or the Lexel won't stick. Another pro tip. No, nah, I'm licking my finger and it's not I'm just tooling the bead, man. It's not sticking. Tooling the bead. And that's a gain solar metal roof penetration.